What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome in this video. I'm gonna jump around a little bit on the drag racing, but yeah, we got the Habeo Habao. It is the HB, the EX10. So it's a 110 scale two wheel drive drag car, almost ready to run. As you see here, no electronics. Um, we don't have any in stock as of yet, but if you wanna get on that notif notification list, go ahead and enter in your email address and uh, notif click notify and you'll be notified once we have them available on our website so yeah anytime you're on our website you, and you see this and it, nothing is available you can always click on this enter in your email address and then once it becomes available you'll get a notification and then boom you're good to go so yeah uh, i want to show this one some mid-motor setup for a drag car carbon fiber aluminum a little bit of plastic here and there so it does come with um, belted tires not glued so you will need to glue the tires and obviously, like I said, you're going to have to put your own electronics in there, things like that. Uh, the, also, like Team Associate has one. I just want to kind of share another one because it's mid-motor. And I was like, okay, well, this price is 309 where the other one, you know, it's over 400 Just to kind of like, you know, it's another option, right? Not the take away from the Habao that's here because I really don't know all the stuff to this. It is a new vehicle. I don't know how it performs. I don't know how either one perform, to be honest with you. But I just definitely want to... Uh, let you know, you know, different cars that are out there. There, This thing has, as far as drag racing, has blown up a lot. And if you've been kind of keeping an eye on it, you'll know like, yeah, man, all these guys, you know, making carbon fiber chassis and everything like that. And the reason why I kind of like the manufacturers, the reason is if you break something, you know, a little part here and there, you know, you can get it. Where some of the guys, maybe they're producing X amount of them. And if you break the chassis, then you're pretty much like out of luck. Or if you just need like one little part, like, hey, you got to buy the whole thing. So you guys can let me know in regards to that one. I know that's how it was at one point in time where it was just like, yeah, limited run. And that was it. And I had some guys like, yeah, I broke this piece and they don't make one one of the parts for it anymore. So now I'm out $400. Like, yeah, that's expensive just to dump it like that. So, yeah, um, kind of the growing pains of all this stuff here because it's just blown up quite a bit <laughs> over the last few years from like getting a DR10 and running it. So yeah, this thing's got a lot of adjustabilities. I can see here, it, even just the top here, like this little suspension upper arm, I would imagine uh, the way mine was, the DR10 or whatever, it had the bottom arm and then it had an adjustable arm here and that was it. So this thing would definitely, when you go, it would twist the arm. So imagine this will help with that torque twist also to reduce it. It does have, we can see sway bars here, that definitely helps out. Keep the car tracking straight um so yeah you got some uh, battery adjustments here i don't know if it can accommodate a full lipo pack i'm gonna say if you're into drag racing you don't want a full lipo pack you're gonna go with a shorty pack you're gonna keep that weight in the car low as possible but being able to distribute the weight where you kind of want it to the front to the rear you know adjust that weight bias so they kind of show like a side example, or you can see it here too. I kind of doubled up on the picture, so hopefully one resolution is a little bit better than the other. But uh, yeah, lots of different adjustments. It looks like this is where your electronic speed controller sits on that little platform that we can see here. So I'm liking it. It is a nice setup. Uh, as far as the body post too, they seem to be some kind of quick release. They don't really kind of show the function of it, but yeah, you can kind of, uh, let's see, I was looking at here. Yeah, new design for a quick release body post so they don't show like any kind of animation or anything that kind of shows how this thing if it's a twist if you slide or whatever but uh if by chance you know down the road someone says hey yeah that's this is how the body kind of twists off and uh, you know makes it nice and easy to get the body off of there and uh you know get inside the car so very nice and like i said this mid motor so works you know there there's a lot to it and i'm not even going to go down the road because well, I'm not experienced enough with all the drag racing. I did my little beginner drag racing and, and that was pretty much it. So, but really cool for them to come out with one as far as Habeo, Habao, and uh, however you're going to say it, man. So, I've kind of, but you're definitely going to need quite a few components to get this thing up and running as far as from your two channel radio, your electronic speed controller, or motor. You know, a lot of guys were running uh, even just two turn motors, but you got to make sure when you're getting a motor, like, oh, what this motor? Make sure that your electronic speed controller can support that low turn of a motor because you don't want to damage any of your components. So yeah, and as far as pinion gear and all that stuff, you'll have to 
all that stuff changes as far as what is a good setup. So yeah, pretty interesting. Pretty cool that they came out with one. So um, definitely uh, leave some feedback as far as what you guys think about this. But uh, catch you real soon. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check us out again at omgrc.com. Catch you real soon. Thank you again for watching. Peace.